Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. Tonight we're doing a full review of my brilliant Caravel watch. This amazing little vintage piece that I picked up for $30 on eBay. So let us begin. And here is the Caravel watch that set me back a whopping $30. That was such a crazy find. I still have it on the strap that it shipped with. It's a pretty decent strap. At some point, I'll probably swap it out, but for now, it's okay. It's doing the trick. I did change the buckle on it just to achieve some micro adjustment so now it's dialed in even better it has odd width lugs which is kind of a pain looking at the case back it's in pretty decent shape it's not super scratched up it's showing its age but that is to be expected we see anti-magnetic called out on the back there stainless steel back Water resistant. It doesn't say waterproof. I think the watch is too new for that. And what do we have up here? Shock resistant. And then Caravel. Looking at the sides of the case. This is a pretty thin watch, especially since the thickness is increased by this crystal. And the design of the case kind of accentuates the thinness even further because the case back comes down a little bit here and then you have this central piece right here and then it kind of angles up toward the bezel and the crystal with the crown you can see base metal coming through though but it appears to be the original crown so yeah uh, might replace that who knows so winding this watch it's a fairly small crown, but it's not too bad. It's pretty easy to get a grip on it. And we can pop this out. Maybe. There. There's not much of a click when you're pulling that out. But it's not loose when you're setting the time. It feels great. We'll pop this back in. You see it does not hack. And looking at this crystal. That is so cool. Now looking at the dial. It is in excellent shape. There's no water damage or anything on it. It's not really patinaed a ton. I mean it looks vintage but... There is no real discoloring to it, like discolored marks or anything on there. It's all pretty uniform. There is loom on the hands in these little pips around the edge of the dial there. However, that loom fades within seconds because it is original. And one of the little pips around the edge actually crumbled apart. So after I did my first impressions video of this watch, a day later, I think it was, I noticed little bits on the dial. And at first, I was a little troubled because I thought it was coming from the hands. And not really looking forward to learning how to loom hands at this point. Just a bit nervous about it. And so I opened up the case, got the crown stem pulled out removed the movement and blew out the inside of the watch, put it back together and the next day there was some more. And I thought that somehow it was the same bit, but then on close inspection I noticed that one of the little pips was missing and I think part of it came off and after I cleaned it the last of it did. Fortunately you can't really tell that it's missing because there's still a dot there. There's just no non-functioning loom there anymore. But this is a great dial. Such a cool looking watch. 
All right, as for the specifications on this watch, the case size is 31 millimeters. So it is definitely for the brave. This is a tiny watch. The case height is 10 millimeters. The lug to lug is 36 millimeters. The lug width is 17 millimeters. And actually on my calipers, it was just a little bit over that, not by much. All right, so let me take off my Max Bill. I don't really wear this a ton, mainly because I need to get some more 14 millimeter buckles so that I can do some micro adjustments on this strap. I love the strap. It looks great on this watch, but it's a little bit loose. Kind of rides low on the wrist, especially when it's not warm. Yeah, right in between where I need it to be. So I'm hoping to get either a longer or shorter buckle than this one. And I think once it's more dialed in, it'll be getting quite a bit more rest time. But let me take this off and we'll see what it's like when you're wearing this Caravelle watch. All right, here is the vintage Caravelle watch on my seven inch wrist. My wrist is 55 millimeters wide. And this is what a tiny vintage watch looks like when you're wearing it. Ah, uh, this watch is so cool. It is exactly what I was hoping to find when I was going on eBay that night. Except I was hoping not to find anything, because I didn't really want to spend any money at that time. But $30? Okay. Amazing. So there you have it, a brilliant little watch that I bought for a brilliant little price. And it's actually one of my favorite vintage watches. And I actually really love this watch. So I have some of the tools that I'll need to potentially replace that crown. I still have to pick up a couple more items and find a crown and stem for it, but I may end up replacing that crown just because the base metal is starting to show through. For now, I'm going to leave it in there as I gather up tools and confidence. Thanks for watching.